put your hand up and I'll point to you and we'll try and get the microphone around. Who wants to kick us off? Jordan at the front. Hi, David. Um, a tough night, but ultimately what's important is that you got through it and you got a result. Yeah, I think you've answered it probably as well as I could answer it. Uh, you know, you, we've got a slight and narrow lead, but nothing more than that at this time. And obviously when they took the lead, memories must have gone back to Frankfurt and the way they took the lead and then you know how important it is to get a victory in that mm. first leg. Was it kind of going through your head that you needed to kind of avenge those memories? No, when I got to half time I felt that there was still three quarters of the game to go. So there was plenty of time to to try and turn things around and we had to make sure that we, we picked up. Uh, we did so. Our decision making in the first half, especially in the final third, was, was so poor. Our hold up play didn't allow us really to, to create more opportunities. Second half we got a little bit better and uh, it gave us the chance to get, get a goal or two. It's not, it's not easy to come from behind to win a semi-final. How important was the penalty in, in terms of Ben Rama's nerve to take it because it took ages from it being given to yeah. it, it, him actually take it? Mm-hmm. I couldn't actually understand why they took so long on, on the decision because I thought the referee had given it and, and I did have a chance to see it so I... I I, I thought it was he was maybe looking because was it a yellow or a red card that was what I was looking uh, I thought maybe that might have been what they were waiting on but I really have no idea what the what the delay was but look he held his nerve uh, finished the penalty off but he had a great chance to finish another one off later on which was much easier I mean do you, how much how much confidence do you take from the second half performance in terms of it, it's narrow league but it is a league they're going to have to come out, maybe put a bit more into the game, speed their game up a little bit to try and try and cause you some problems. Where do you feel mm-hmm. that, that ties? Well, I think the I think the ties very evenly balanced, very little in the game. You know, if it was the other way around, if we were if we were losing by a goal, well, I wouldn't be in here saying that we were out the tie, and I wouldn't think. Uh, AZ would be saying that either. I think the, the game is very tightly balanced. I didn't think we gave up too many opportunities tonight, even though we, we conceded a goal. Uh, but it was probably our, our play in the, in the higher areas of the pitch, which we didn't do well enough, create, to give ourselves a chance uh, to probably maybe get further in front. Gary. David, hi. I don't know what you said to them in the dressing room, but on such a big night, with some decisions going against you, the fight, the determination that they showed to come back must, must please you. Yeah, they did. I'm pleased. We've, we, we sort of got ourselves in front, which I said in the tie was a big thing uh, to try and be at, at least in front just now if we could. Uh, no, it was, a, it was a difficult night. We, you know, but we've learnt some lessons over the years. Uh, well, we hope we have, but it's very difficult when you think that it's maybe not quite going, you're quite getting the rub of the green. But recently, I've been watching West Ham, you would see that we're well used to that at the moment. Andy. David, when um, the players were celebrating the penalty being scored, I saw that you were like, come on, let's go. Because uh, did you feel like yeah. there, was, there was more in it at that stage for well, you? Well, we have to use every minute we've got in a home tie. You know, I think, uh, let's be fair, I don't, know, I don't know if there's such a big a difference of being a home and away in, in the first or second leg ties. But while we were at home, we had to try and make the most of it. And I'd rather them just got the ball back and up and get started again to try and get the goals. Here. David, uh, this time last year, just about everything that could have gone wrong for you in the semi-final did go wrong, including contentious refereeing and red card and Frankfurt scoring in the very first minute of the tie. Is the most satisfying part tonight that you did keep your discipline as a team and that Mm -hmm. you didn't yeah. Get unnecessary red cards and you didn't fly yeah. off the handle. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because there was there was just a little period where it was just beginning to get a little bit out of hand. So it was really important that we'd we told the players and we hope that we're we we've learnt a little bit from it. But uh, but look, you know, it's a big emotion game, emotional game. Football is that. People would be disappointed if you didn't see your players fighting for everything. And tonight the players did. The players were fighting for everything. Uh, but we played a bit too excitedly in the opening 20 minutes. We didn't show any calmness in the final third, which meant it was very difficult for us to sort of 
uh, get that that moment which maybe we could have got a goal from. Jonty? David, I just wanted to get your thoughts on sort of the build up to and the goal itself that Altmar did score and how you thought your player sort of handled with that situation, you know, because they could have easily, you know, got upset and, and angry and perhaps not be calm and find a way back in. Well, it's one of the things I said we're trying to, we're hoping to learn more about. You know, I think that uh, part of being in Europe is that you do have referees from all different co- uh, countries, which means that uh, we're not quite sure what the, the levels are. And uh, I, I, I think we weren't quite sure again tonight. But nevertheless, look, I, I don't really want to be talking about referees. I would like you to talk to me about the football and that the referees was was another thing because I'm, I'm trying not to answer too many questions on referees if possible Kieran Was the um, Mickey Antonio's winner was that just in the nick of time was he about to be was Yeah I was, to going to ch- I was going to change him for Danny Ings yeah yeah, I felt that we just needed another another different way at the end and uh, maybe if it had been five minutes earlier I might have taken him off OK last one from Jacob does the, the fact that you've come back tonight, come back here against Arsenal from 2 0 down, kind of rode through that difficult mm-hmm. early patch against United, yep. tell you that this side probably has the resilience and mm-hmm. kind of persistence to, to survive next week? Yeah, I hugely believe we'll get a big resilience here. I think, um, I think we have it through the club, I think we have it through the team, and uh, we'll need it. We've needed it, you know, the games we have in the Premier League. You know, we're just off a big win against Manchester United and tonight we've won two one in a semi final of a first leg. So uh you'd have to say, hey, that's okay. You know what I mean? And when it's cup competition, no uh it doesn't really matter how you do it really. The the job is to get it done. Uh we've not got it done yet, far from it. We've got a big job to do next week. Last one, Drake. Can I just check on uh, on, on Kurt because obviously he was maybe a bit of a surprise to start. Was it? Yeah, Kurt. Kurt was. I mean, only, partly Angelo as well. Angelo had a bit of illness, which we was been going around the camp as as you mostly you know uh, for a week or so. So Angelo's had the illness, so it made my decision a little bit easier that I had Kurt ready. When I say ready, but ready to come in, and uh, uh, thankfully he was able to perform. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.